Good evening, Starseeds. This is Delilah here with the Upper Room Forecast. There will be many important planetary changes throughout 2024. But more importantly, we're going to break down the significant transits that we will be facing towards the end of January. I hope you all enjoyed your holiday celebrations as we embark into year eight, which is the year of infinity. This is a pivotal moment in the Great Awakening. So it's going to be very important for you more than ever to take the time to know yourself so that you can utilize and take advantage of the powerful energetic bodies, transits, placements that you individually embody. Let's get into it. Embarking towards the end of January 2024, more specifically the 27th, there are quite a few transits that you need to be mindful of. One, the full moon will be full in the sign of Leo, prompting the collective to be more deliberate about your ability to express your authenticity, whether that is creative, at home, in your relationships, or in business. Up until this point, Uranus has been in retrograde until the 27th of January. Upon it going direct in Taurus, there will be an influx of ingenuity and innovative energy in the financial sector of your charts, especially if you have significant placements in the 2nd, 10th, or even the 11th houses, depending on your individual careers. I urge you to stay light on your feet and as fluid as possible, as solutions may bring in the best results due to the rebellious and unpredictable nature this shift will bring, signaling revolutionary change, more particularly in areas related to finance, material possessions, and earthly pleasures. This will encourage you naturally to embrace change, explore new ideas, and find solutions to material challenges. Literally, the things you value the most will change. For my intuitive beings, Neptune will continue to be in Pisces into early spring of 2025. This is an important placement to be mindful of because it is the ruling planet of Pisces. This also means that during the year 2024, Neptune's energy is going to be amplified and expressed more powerfully because it is at home in its own sign. So there is a very high probability that your spiritual gifts may be enhanced. Now there may be occurrences along the way that may affect this in the form of the way you perceive downloads or even get them. Light codes are also significant. There will also be a huge surge in compassion, empathy, and creativity. However, it is important for you to remain grounded and avoid the pitfalls of escapism that overactive chakras may impose. You may be prone to the tantalizing temptations of addictions as there may be a mass increase in those. This is the type of escapism that I was talking about. So you want to be mindful that it may be seemingly easy to fall back into habits that you swore off during your New Year's resolution list. On the positive side, expect a focus on global unity, artistic innovation, and heightened compassion, leading to discussions about environmental concerns and idealistic visions for a more connected world. As more of the collective continues to elevate. Now, in regards to Pluto, which is, again, one of the outer planetary bodies in our home system, there are significant occurrences throughout the year where 
Pluto will be in the house of Aquarius. Now, whenever it is not in the house of Aquarius, it has been yo-yoing between Aquarius and Capricorn. Where it has been since 2008. Displacement is important because it represents transformation, but also is associated with themes of power, authority, and discipline. Deep transformation in society, government, and the economy. It will finally move into Aquarius for its long-term transit in November of 2024, where, where it will remain for over 20 years. That's two decades. So if you want to get a glimpse as to what you're in store for for the next two decades. Keep a close eye and observe on the influx of your productivity between January and September of this year, especially if you have prominent placements in Aquarius. This may call for major innovation for social media platforms, collective innovation, social justice, revolutionizing powerful dynamics and reshaping societal norms and communities for over the next 20 years. This essentially is very, very important if you subscribe to the Lightworker mission because this is when we will have the backing of the universe behind us. Your local sector may also become more important. So I urge every last one of you starseeds to find ways, bit by bit, to be more prominent in your individual communities. Now, I know how much we all love Mercury retrograde. <laughs> so I took it upon myself to uh, look into when we can prepare. As Prior to 2024, I really didn't care about Mercury Retrograde, but as it has a lasting effect, as I have observed many, many retrogrades thus far of how people around me act and how it affects my own life, I took it upon myself to look at when they will occur. So in 2024, we have three Mercury Retrogrades. The next one will be between February 21st and March 17th and will be in Pisces. So with it being in Pisces, in addition to the regular upsets that come with Mercury retrograde, they may be more prominent in delays of or misunderstandings in regards to your emotional or spiritual per- perception and your communication. Naturally, communication is always affected, but along the lines of your spiritual or emotional output may be more affected than usual. Mercury retrogrades naturally bring in a time for reflection and introspection and reassessing past things. But I urge you to do your best to try to to intently focus on channeling this retrograde energy into your creative projects or endeavors. Technical difficulties are also common among retrogrades, but again, these delays and difficulties will be more on an emotional or creative front. The next retrograde is between June 18th and July 12th, which will be in the sign of cancer. So that means that your challenges or your complications will be around family members or loved ones. Increased focus on emotional needs and nurturing relationships is going to be significant around this time. To avoid any upsets regarding past aggressions. Also, with it being in the fourth house, delays or complications, especially related to home renovations or relocation, may also be highlighted. And last, the third retrograde between October 30th and November 20th, 2024, will be in Scorpio. So your misunderstandings and your difficulties will be related to legalities, power dynamics, or financial matters. So going into the holiday season of 2024, you may want to plan ahead. 
It's also going to be pivotal at this time for you to confront and release past emotional baggage. If you haven't had the time to do that yet. Deep research, investigation, and uncovering hidden truths will also be quite easy around this time. As we look into the further past of our existence. These are different ways that you can use the Mercury Retrograde energies to your benefit in 2024. 2024, being the year of eight, which means infinity, is going to be a very significant year in the ascension of Earth. For the entire year, the North Node placements will be in Aries and the South Node will be in Libra. These two signs are natural polar opposites on the zodiac wheel, symbolizing a year of long journeys of self-discovery, elevation, and self-mastery. I urge the collective to pay close attention to the opportunities to grow independently and also to make it a point to prioritize budding relationships and long-lasting relationships that align with your soul purpose to attract more fulfillment and harmony in the balancing and development of your individual soul missions. This is going to be a very important year for development of personal and professional relationships that matter most to you. The times of 2024 where these nodes will play the most significant role will be between March 24th and April 8th and September 17th through October 2nd. These two polar energy time frames will be when your North Node and South Node placements will be the strongest. This is pivotal for anyone that has a North or South Node in these signs. It is literally the universe impeding for you to evolve or else. From May 25th, 2024, all the way through June 9th of 25, Jupiter is going to be enter, uh, entering Gemini, which is going to prompt a huge expansion through collaboration, which plays very positively off of the overall energy of the eight. So again, this is reiterating that focus, especially with it's congruent, complementing placement with Uranus and Taurus for you to, again, focus on building through collaboration. If you have any prominent Gemini placements, to take note of this as this part of your natal chart sector may receive the most benefits. Also, if you are collaborating with any Geminis, this will also show positive benefits to your communication, your business partnerships, as well as writing and sales. Literally any profession that revolves around communication. We will also be experiencing a solar eclipse on Monday, April 8th. It will be a new moon and solar eclipse in Aries. Venus will also be transitioning into the sign of Aries on this Friday. So this will highlight a surge in your romance sector and that may take priority at this time we may see an increase in proposals or opportunities to get to know people better or celebrations or even the news of new partnerships so in PD this weekend the eclipse on Monday April 8th it's important for you to make big decisions before this date. Eclipses are high octane cosmic events and they can cause quite a stir. Solar eclipses in particular, along with a new moon phase can indicate a new chapter in your life starting. So if it hasn't felt like it started already for you collective, by April, you'll be well into the swing of things. Like I said, is if you haven't initiated this change yourself, this will be the planetary alignments and energies all collaborating together to kind of 
rush you along or push you into it. So, if deep down you know that you're meant to do something greater, now's the time if you haven't put that into motion. And if you ever want to look up this information, you can head on over to my blog at starseedirect.com for the deets. This has been an Upper Room Forecast.